there, what? My name is Auntie Sylvia. And guess what? It's story time. <laughs> well, I want to show you today how to make your very own story time book. Ain't that wonderful? Now listen real close. Because I'm going to need you to get a few things, okay? Alright, so I need you to get some plain pieces of paper. See? I need you to get some crayons. See? I need you to get a glue stick. Or ask someone to get a stapler. Alright, so I'm going to give you a few seconds. I'm going to count to 20. So you can get it. Let's see, uh, a one, a two, three. Twenty! We made it! Woo! That was long! Did you get everything? Great! Now, let's put those hands up so we can get our brain ready and still. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, and fold them in your lap, lap, lap. <laughs> oh, I like that song. All right, well now, today I want you to use your imagination, okay? What's imagination? Well, that's an awful big word for when your brain takes pictures of things for you to think about. That's imagination. All right, and I want you to use your imagination to write your very own story, okay? And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use our toy. Remember I told you to get your favorite toy. This is Miss Bunny. Say hi, Bunny. Hi! Okay, so today we're gonna pretend like our favorite toy is gonna go to the store, okay? That's what my toy is gonna do. And I want your toy to do the same thing. All right, so now, Miss Bunny, where are you going? I'm going to the store, Auntie Sylvia. Oh my goodness. And what are you going to do at the store? I'm going to buy something. All right, bye, Miss Bunny. Bye, Auntie Sylvia. I'm at the store. I think I want to buy some do at the store? Did they buy something to eat? Maybe they brought crayons or pencils or something. I don't know, but they did something. 
So now, I want you to tell your story to whoever's with you. That's so fun. Go ahead, I'm gonna listen. Miss Bunny has a pink nose and pretty dark eyes and a big smile. All right, there's Miss Bunny. She's got ice cream in her hand because she went to the store. See, it doesn't have to be real fancy, just enough so you remember your story. Now you do it. Gonna wait. I'm gonna do the la la again. Oh, la 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 All right. And then you're gonna keep telling your story with pictures on your paper, right? Some of you might know how to write or someone can help you write stories on the bottom of your paper. Mine is gonna say, Miss Bunny at the store. Miss Bunny at the store. Ain't that wonderful? And then when you get your book done, you just glue it together or staple it. Let me show you. You make as many pictures as you want on your paper and you can do it with words or without words. It just depends on you. There's a glue. And there's a glue. And you don't have to hurry. You can take all day to make your story, okay? And if you got staples, you can just do a staple here or a staple there. And you have your very own story time book to read anytime you want, any way you want. Oh my goodness, it's time for Auntie Sylvia to go. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see ya later on. Goodbye, goodbye, this is the goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see ya later on. Goodbye, goodbye, this is the goodbye song. Goodbye, dear ones, I love you very much. And I hope you have a fantabulous day. Bye.